Urban legends are fascinating and often terrifying tales, usually surrounding mythical creatures or vicious spirits. They typically have no origin date, and it's hard to pinpoint where these legends came from. These urban legends are also often the inspiration for horror films and thriller novels, but the stories can become warped and stray from the original tale as they are passed from writer to writer. South America has some of the creepiest urban legends in the world, and here we take a look at five of the most interesting and disturbing ones. So hit those lights, sit back, and enjoy. Al Coco. This first legend is possibly one of the oldest on this list, going back to before the 17th century. Al Coco is a ghost monster, often used by parents to scare their children and dissuade them from misbehaving. Descriptions of the creature's appearance differ, as it's not his looks that scare children the most, but the fact that he is a child eater and kidnapper. It has the ability to shapeshift, but always appears hideous and terrifying to look at. The most common descriptions of Alcocos are either as a shadow creature or a hairy being with hideous long teeth. Some stories tell of Alcoco hiding in closets, under beds, or on roofs, and if a disembodied child is found by Alcoco, the legend says that he will kidnap them and devour them without a trace. A similar creature from Brazil, however, is described as a female alligator and is known as Cuca. Cuca is used as a villain in many Brazilian children's books. Over the years, many rhymes about Al Coco have evolved, usually told to children before they go to sleep. Here is an interpretation of one of them. Sleep child, sleep now, here comes the Coco, and he will eat you. Pretty nightmare inducing words for a young child to hear just before they sleep. Remarkably, even today, in certain parts of South America, parents will still warn their children with these rhymes and lullabies to discourage them from bad behavior. Duendes. A duende is a mischievous creature from South American folklore, often said to resemble either an elf or a goblin. Some say they are the spirits of dead infants, children who died before they could be baptized. The legend states that if you should be unfortunate enough to see one, you will disappear completely, leaving no trace, and reappear in another town, lost and extremely confused. Other tales of the Duende include being extremely helpful, especially to those lost in the woods. It's also said that they live in the walls of children's bedrooms, and that if a child is caught by a Duende, they will take them to their cave in the forest, where nobody will hear the child's screams. Depending on which tale you hear, the Duende can either be a confronting spirit, or a terrifying one, and like the legend of El Coco, whether helpful or mischievous, the legend of the Duenda is often used to scare children and make them think twice about disobeying their parents. Do not stray or the Duenda will take you away is a famous phrase that parents tell their children. Al Calejo. This next one shows how urban legends based on spirits are not always restricted to the spirits of traumatized humans, but also feature the spirits of animals. Al Calejo are small dog-like creatures similar to howlhounds. There are two types, one black and one white. The white Calejo is said to be a good spirit, accompanying lost travelers to ensure their safe return. It's said that if you find yourself lost in the forest, the white Calejo will appear and show you the safe way home. The black Calejo, however, is more of an evil spirit and will try to harm or even kill any human it comes across. In some cultures, it's believed that you can scare away the evil Calhalejo by burning incense at the entrance to your home. If the two Calejo meet, they will fight, but the white dog will always defeat the black dog, representing good overcoming evil. Others believe that after their death, the Calejo will accompany them to the afterlife. Have you ever witnessed a Calejo or know any tales about it? If so, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Al Chupacabra. Al Chupacabra, we've talked about this legend before, but could not make a video on South American urban legends and not include the legendary Chupacabra. Al Chupacabra is a terrifying creature known for attacking livestock. Its name means goat sucker, since this creature is known for sucking the blood from its victims. Several films and books have been based on the legend of Al Chupacabra over the years. 
and the story of this fascinating creature has captured the imagination of horror enthusiasts for decades. Many sightings have been recorded, and most describe the chupacabra as being a large, heavy creature with a row of spines down its back. It is also suggested that it stands on two feet and hops in a similar fashion to a kangaroo. Some reports suggest that the creature has a row of needle-like teeth, while others argue that the al chupacabra has two large sharp teeth, similar to that of a vampire. The first recorded sighting occurred in Puerto Rico in March 1995, when eight sheep were found dead in a field, entirely drained of blood. Two puncture wounds were found in the upper chest area. In August of the same year, as many as 150 pets and livestock animals were killed in a similar way in another Puerto Rican town, and an eyewitness reported that she had seen Al Chupacabra kill the animals. In the small town of Moca in 1975, more animals were killed in a similar fashion, and they were said to be committed by Al Vampiro di Moca. It was originally thought to be due to sacrificial ceremonies of a local satanic cult, but after many more animal killings were reported in the town, it was later blamed on Al Chupacabra. Many of these cases are still officially unsolved, and it seems unlikely that we will ever have a definitive answer. Could it have been a cult or the work of Al Chupacabra? What do you think? If you're a believer in the Chupacabra, then check out our I Believe Chupacabra Beanie or our retro style Chupacabra poster. La Llorona. La Llorona is Spanish for the Weeping Woman, a terrifying urban legend about a murderous mother and her eternal suffering. She is the inspiration for many horror films and is very popular in many South American cultures. There are a couple of different versions of this legend, but all of them lead to the same woeful apparition. It's not known where or when this tale originated, but it's the story of Maria, a peasant woman. Her beauty captured the attention of many men in her village, and at night, she would wear her best white dress and go out to tease her local admirers. Maria had two young children, which hindered her desire to visit the men. So when both of her children drowned in a local river, there was speculation that their deaths were caused by either Maria's neglect or by her own hand. Maria was the wife of a kind and wealthy man, but after giving him two sons, he lost interest in her and would only visit to see the children. She began to resent the boys, and after witnessing her husband throwing her aside for a younger woman, she threw the boys into a river in a fit of rage and despair. Immediately regretting her actions, she ran down the bank to save them, but it was too late. They had disappeared beneath the raging water. Maria pined for her sons day and night, refusing to eat. Every night, she could be seen walking along the riverbank in her white gown, searching for her boys, until she resembled a walking skeleton. Her body finally gave out, and she died of starvation on the banks of the river. Not long after her death, locals reported nightly wailing coming from the location of the river, and Mariah's restless spirit was witnessed near the banks of the river, either drifting between the trees along the shoreline or floating on the current with a long white gown spread out upon the waters. It got so bad that the locals refused to go near the area after dark, and Maria was no longer referred to by her name, and became known as the Weeping Woman. Similar to the tale of Al Coco, the story of La Riona is used to dissuade children from trespassing, or walking alone at night, and it's said that if La Riona should find them by the river, she would drag them screaming to their watery grave, just as she did to her own children. So that's five terrifying South American urban legends. I hope you're enjoying all of these creepy videos, and don't forget to check out our Chupacabra merchandise over on our store. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for another creepy video.